Creative Glam. If you're new here, my name is Sharon. And if you're returning, thanks and welcome back. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button below along with the notification bell. Hit that notification bell twice so you'll be notified when I upload new videos and I upload new videos every week. Today on Creative Glam, I'm participating in a collaboration called The Look for Less. And this collaboration is being co-hosted by Yami of The Latina Next Door and Sherry of The Jumping Chick. They both have outstanding channels here on YouTube. If you have not seen either of their channels, I will leave a link down in the description box. Make sure you stop by and check out the, the Latina Next Door and the Junkin' Chick. Outstanding channels. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. I will also leave a link in the description box for the playlist of all the participants in this collaboration. As I said earlier, this is the first time I've participated in this collaboration and I'm excited to get started. Um, now the requirements of this challenge are pretty self-explanatory with the title, The Look for Less. You are required to find an item in a store and recreate that item for less. So I found an item at Z Gallery and it's called the Celeste Boxes. Um, it's a set of two. So I'm gonna take these boxes and recreate the Z Gallery Celeste Box look for less. I got these boxes from Michaels uh, at $4 each. I also got from Michaels some decorative paper, which was a dollar. And I also got some paint, navy blue paint from Walmart for $2.98. So for less than $15, I'm gonna recreate these Celeste boxes. They retail at Z Galleries for $79.95. So I'm gonna take these outside and paint. The weather's cooperating. Let's go. The things you'll need to complete this project are two wooden boxes, spray painted the color of your choice. I went with navy blue. Decorative paper the color of your choice. I went with the spun silver. A paper cutter, scissors. I'm using adhesive gems. And for the feet, I'm going to use, um, what are these called? Navy blue cotton wrapped wooden beads two and a half inches on each side of the box. The box is 11 and a half inches long. I want two and a half on either side of the box, which means that the decorative sheet that goes down, the decorative piece that goes down the middle should be about six and a half inches long. And um, that will put me about like that. I like that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with six and a half. So. So I just scored it all the way around. I scored it at every turn.
jab of fix all. I was going to purchase the wooden feet and paint them the same color as I did the box. That was my original intent. And then I found these and I just couldn't resist. Just to take this up a notch, this is where you would put your lining in whether it was silk whether it was felt whatever type of lining you decided to put in your box now will be a good time to do that i don't happen to have anything to do that today but i will later on all right guys we are just about done i think that turned out really pretty so far so good i just need to add my little embellishments in the front here and, I, and i'll be done Find the center. All done, guys. The creative glam version of the Celeste boxes. Z Gallery's Celeste boxes retail for $79.95. The Creative Glam Boxes retail for $15. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed my video. I want to thank Yami and Sherry for including me in the Look for Less Challenge. I had lots of fun. And if you did too, hit that subscribe button below along with the notification bell. Hit the notification bell twice so you'll be notified when I upload new videos and I upload new videos every week. And with that being said, enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you next time. Bye!